Oh my god, it's a button, and it's shiny. Punch it! And MJ Tamixer has been telling me to punch it this entire time. Punch Welcome it. back to our punch Let's Play it. of Psychonauts. Alright, let's punch the button. Punch and not it. miss it this time. You there we go. Enough on this course, kid, and I'll give you a reward. It's a punching minigame, Mickey! <laughs> Yay! Oh my god, why are you lagging so much? It hates me too. Uh, it's gotta punch the people. Oh my god, did you just freeze? So we gotta punch the babies, right? Yes. I just didn't like it. 20. There's- you actually can play this minigame again later. But I have not actually beaten it just because it's a little bit harder. I'm thinking. Yeah. Twenty seven seconds left. He blew him up. He blew what? he blew up their astral projections. Most people they got something to hide. I got something they to hide. It's a piggy safe. So you're Soldier. making me call you the enemy. Bust open this ball. I got nothing to hide. Yes, you do. Everybody has something to hide, even my eyes. Give me that figment. Come here. Come here, you damn safe. Good. I hate chasing safe. Yeah, you get arrowheads for destroying stuff sometimes, and they basically go into your main currency. Oleander's pride. Whoa. Oleander is leading the war front and the naval front. Looks like he used to be tall. Yeah. And he used to not have a thingy on his hat. Uh, cause, cork. yeah, cork on his head. Oh, wow. He served, then he served everything. And you can always review those back in your journal. And this little guy is a teleporter, but we won't get into that until later when he actually becomes relevant. When we have places to teleport to. And now, oh, see those wonderful orange things? There's someone in there shooting at us. So we need to get all the way up there. Those poor little war bunnies. All right. And see, as like the minigame has, we have a little guy on here telling us to punch the wall. Oh, I missed one. Aha! No bunnies! <laughs> the bunny exploded. All right, we got to level three. Oh, and we got the bag too. Oh, it's eating his tag. So happy. <laughs> Poor bunnies. No bunnies. No. Do I even dare? Yes. You do take damage. Oh my god. I took a lot of damage. Um. Whatever. No, bunnies! Get out of here. Once you do that, that basically cancels out, um, it from shooting more stuff. So. Oh, you're bunny. Run, bunny! Yeah, you can tell the bunnies to run, but there's not a guarantee you'll be able to save the bunnies. Unfortunately. Okay, so we're gonna climb up here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's a guy telling us to go down, so let's go down. What the heck? Bobby Zilch, you yeah. son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Raz. Fooby on him. Okay, let's go. Perspective change! Uh, gravity. It doesn't make sense! Why doesn't it make sense? Okay, let's just go. <laughs> we have two art students playing this game. Talking uh, about gravity and... Pers Raz, jump please, thank you. We're gonna do the same with this one. And open it up. Now we get to the part where we start to learn how to do, even though we did it earlier, sliding. 
Haha! I didn't miss it this time. Oh, you didn't jump over it this time? Yeah, in my last recording that wasn't- that was kind of shitty. I jumped over the figment. Like a dummy. Fire! Oh boy. This part. Now, I can only offer one bit of advice with this when you're working on um, just swinging from poles. Is just hold the directional button that you want to go, and as soon as he starts going over, you can actually do really quick jumps. And you can switch your direction with um, with F. This also works for if you're swinging from any kind of like wire. But just holding the direction, having him flip like this, you can do um, uh, quick consecutive jumps, which is good because this means he can actually make this jump. And if we're actually, if I actually could do fast jumps, we'll do it later. Okay. And we have one more bag left. They're all so happy! We're sorting out Oleander's deep emotions. You should really get a therapist. Half the people in this game should really get a therapist, especially the kids. Oh, whoa, I thought it was gonna catch on fire. <laughs> actually. Alright. There we go. And my least favorite part of the game, tight ropes. Cobweb! Hold it right there, boy! That's a metal cobweb! You can collect them with a specialized piece of equipment once you get checked out. Punch it! Till then, just steer clear of them. Punch it! Who the hell? I want that. Punch it! I know, I need a cobweb duster, but you can't... Unfortunately, with all even with all the collecting I do, you can't get that until you're level 20. Or rank 20, in this case. Hey, I want that. Thank you. I can't, This is like my least favorite mechanic in the game, just because it gets kind of wonky. And it's not its fault, it's just being able to walk and bounce on it is kind of weird. And being able to get Raz to get up onto the wire in itself just kind of doesn't work sometimes, especially when you work on a hinge or in a crunch. Oh, hey! Ah! Jump sideways. Come on, hey. The case in point, this is my least favorite part of basic training. Everything else is a piece of cake except for this. Except for maybe one other sequence, but we'll get there. For some reason, I always miss this one. Come on. Thank you. We're almost there. Alright, the trapeze! As you can see, the trapeze is very difficult. Most cadets can't handle it. You might just want to stay away from it. You still get a participation ribbon at the end of camp. A participation ribbon? That's just insulting. <laughs> Raz can handle this crap. And see, this is where coming back actually is helpful because you have a hidden safe here that you can't get. And you're not supposed to get for a while. And the trapeze actually isn't as hard as it looks. Just make sure you get a full velocity. Yep. And if you heard that, you can actually hear the bag crying. And for the longest time, I didn't understand what it meant right here. Which means, um, game day, kid. go into first person view and you can see that the bag is right there. How do you get to it? This. Ah, uh, I missed the figment. That's okay. I'll be back. It'll be back. Oh, whoa, I almost missed that. <laughs> here, bag. And the last bag, which is the purse. It's even- what I find really weird is that everybody has the exact same bags. Cheap animation. <laughs> and we got our rank for collecting all the bags. And that means you get the, um, the Primal Memories, which is the concept art. Hooray! Which I think for this one is, um, the- I think it's the main camp in the campers. I could be wrong. White, remember? Okay, yes, I went over it. 
And this place has a lot of open space. So, don't be afraid to be very cautious. Granted, half this. What the? Oh, okay. We'll do that. <laughs> I'm like, how the heck did that happen? I know I'm supposed to be there. Ain't no silver dollar on that rail. Oh, Bobby, I was gonna punch you. All right, let's go. All right. Some worlds have this. I actually find it pretty fun. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. Oh, hey, Bobby. When's your hair turn green? <laughs> I love their dance. It's just so fun. Alright. Now to the fun part. Okay. Now that we've seen another one of these guys, I'll explain what they do. Teleporter worms. They basically can take you to and from places that you've visited in within the person's brain. So once you've walked past one, you can actually go and use him to teleport to the previous era. But, um, it also can take you to a place called the Collective Unconscious, which is basically, um, this game's version of the world map when you go to, um, unconscious people's world, uh, people's brains. But since we haven't seen the Collective Unconscious, we'll explain that when we get there. We should get it pretty soon. Do, 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 do. There's more red lights. Yes, and then there's this sequence. Oh, boy. Raz is like, yeah, right. This actually isn't as hard as it looks. <laughs> I might be eating my words, because my last recording I did this in one try. Granted, I always do it in one try here. Later, when you have to come back here, and it actually counts every time you die, it actually becomes a lot harder. And I don't mean, like, harder just because you're not... Harder in the sense that you're not penalized for dying. And I'm sorry I'm not talking just because I'm concentrating a little bit. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to playing this when I finally get around to playing this oh, game. Yeah. The, the only the hardest- I'm gonna die like a million times when I get to this section. <laughs> um, just You're gonna laugh at me because I'm gonna be raging so hard. It the, the hardest thing to do is just get your camera behind you and walk in a straight line and don't rush. Because if you try to go too fast too fast too quickly it actually c bites you in the ass and- Hello? Hello? Um, oh boy, I'm patience. Something else I'm horrible at. Whoa. Patience and platform. I'm, I'm early. Hey, there's something shiny. Hi, shiny. white door, but forget you. Shiny. shiny. <laughs> I can't collect it yet. That's why you have to come back here to get that cobweb. But ooh, it must be this. It must be Oleander's porn collection. I have to unveil it. It might be his baby pictures also. Who knows? Raz, no, don't take off the goggles. Hold it right there, son. Just what the Sam Hill do I wanted to see the naked lady. I was just looking for a way out. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut merit badge. <laughs> oh, it does say basic training. <laughs> How many times have you played this game and you never noticed that? I always thought it was basic training. 